I'm Bill from Iron Will, and on this episode of the Science of Bow Hunting, we're going to talk about arrow flight and the considerations when you have a broadhead in the front of your arrow. What I'm showing here is, is where the center mass point would be in the arrow, and center mass is basically kind of a pivot point um, in which the arrow would pivot around. The dashed line showing, you know, that would be the direction of straight line towards the target, and if, if for some reason the arrow tips off at an angle, say, because your bow tuning and your arrow comes off porpoising, um, a gust of wind, anything that would cause it to go off center, what you want to make sure is that you have stability. And what that means is that if it goes off, it will be pulled back on. And the force is happening there is on the front of the arrow, if, if the air is coming by this way, what it's going to do is it's going to create pressure across, across the surface area of the broadhead. And this is more of a consideration with the broadhead blade and a fixed blade versus a field point. Um, there's going to be a force here that's going to want to continue pushing it off, off track. What you want to have is on this end of the arrow, that the veins, as the air flows across it this way, um, there's a pressure across the veins that will bring it back. And so what you want to have is a stable arrow. So you want to have more restoring force than the force that would want to drive it off. And the couple things you could do to get that, and one is having enough vein in back. Um, if the veins are too small, there won't be enough pressure across here, won't be enough force pushing it back up on and making it stable. So that's sometimes a problem. If you've got a fixed blade broadhead, say, and very small target veins, it often won't fly very well. Um, another thing, so really have more vein, have taller veins, and another thing you can do is have a higher FOC. If you, as you have a higher FOC, bringing that center of mass forward, um, that will give you a longer lever arm to your veins and it will give you more restoring force as well to make the arrow come back on and be stable. So stability is one. Uh, FOC, as I mentioned, having more mass forward will help you in stability and also keep it more on track. And then finally, uh, rotation. So the benefit of having rotation is that if there's any asymmetries in the arrow, the rotation will average them out. So if you have, say, a little bit of a bow in your arrow, a little bit of a bend um, in straightness, if it's just flying straight and not rotating, that will tend to drive it off target in one direction. Versus if it's rotating, it'll, it'll average that out. It will still open up your groups, but it will keep it on, on track or keep it on set towards the target. Another thing, if your insert isn't perfectly straight, say your insert's off a few thousandths of an inch, now you attach your broadhead to it, and that's projected out, maybe your broadhead tip is off five to 10 thousandths of an inch at this point. If it doesn't rotate, that pressure difference across there can just drive it off to one side. If it rotates, it will average that out. It'll open up your groups a little bit, but it will still keep it on center, keep it, you'll be hitting the target versus just veering off. So rotation is important. What I like is two and a half to three degrees offset or helical. Um, and also for vein size, I like three veins um, about the size of a, of a blazer, about 0 0.5 to 0.6 inches high. Um, blazer vein, this is a Max Hunter, AAE Max Hunter. Fusion 2, I believe bully veins are also about that height, but something, this is about um, two or slightly over two inches, about 0 0.6 inches high. I find that is a good combination um, to get good stability with the fixed head. And you can do more veins, but this is really kind of the most efficient, that you're getting that stability without adding excessive drag that will drop your trajectory. Stay tuned to the other episodes of The Science of Bow Hunting.